Riverside's newest boxing sensation, Michael Little Wario Franco, fought at the Spotlight 29 Cotito in Coachella, California on Saturday, November 28th. His opponent was former world champion Kermin Gardia. Inland Valley News reporter Brian Aviles covered this fight and got a chance to talk with Franco on how he felt about his opponent before and after the fight. Michael Little Wario Franco fought former world champion Kermin Guardia on Saturday, November 28th at the Spotlight 29 Casino. The bout was an eight round super bantamweight weight at 122 pounds and was the main event of the night. It was Michael Franco's first fight after winning the WBC Youth Junior Featherweight title and Franco was putting up the title for this bout. Franco was supposed to fight Nicky Benz but was suddenly switched to Kermin Guardia just a week before the day of the fight. Guardia had 32 more fights of experience than Franco and was a southpaw. These were just some of the factors Franco had to overcome for this bout. We got a chance to talk to Franco before the fight and he gave us his thoughts on the obstacles he needed to overcome for this bout. Uh, the only thing that he would be able to, uh, any obstacles would be uh, his experience. He has a lot of experience, he has 40 something fights. But uh, you know, my last my last opponent had 40 something fights. With the southpaw, you know, it's always difficult. It's always, um, you know, everything's backwards. So you know, and just you know, just with the experience coming in there, you know, this is a great learning experience for me. It was a tough bout for both fighters. Guardia seemed to confuse Franco in the first two rounds with his southpaw style. Franco kept the pressure on Guardia throughout the fight, and it paid off with an eight-round knockout. Franco was victorious, moving his record to 16 wins, 0 losses, and 11 KOs. Guardia's record after the fight was 37 wins, 11 losses, and 27 KOs. We asked Franco what was the most effective strategy he did to help him win the fight. Listening to my coach, you know, uh, my pops, you know, Al Franco, he kept telling me, you know, step to the left, and Jesse Reed, he kept telling me, step to the left, you know, shoot that one, two, right down the, you know, because he, cause he kept banding in on this, on this side, so, you know, when I did, I would uh, shoot the jab to the his over his his right side, so he'd bend in. And that's what I caught him with. Franco explains what he thinks he needs to improve on, and tells us his plans for the future. My footwork, you know, my speed work, you know, going a little bit faster, you know, um, catching, you know, cutting the cut off the ring a little better, and uh, that's, that's what I need to work on. Whatever my, uh, you know, my manager, my promoter Don Chargin, and the manager, you know, Dr. Liz Cohen, whatever they say, you know, I'll be ready. I'm just going to stay in the gym. For Inland Valley News, this is Brian Aviles. Back to you. Well, I think this edition of Inland Valley News has been a knockout. Now back to Ashley and Jessica for closing announcements. You know what? I agree. How about you, Ashley? I definitely do. It